The new Blue Sky plan now contains new introductory screens that allows you to start projects, open projects, and organize your projects faster and easier than ever before. In this tutorial video, I will, will review the features, functionalities, and capabilities of these introductory screens. Some of the features are clear and obvious, but we also have a lot of powerful functionality that may be less apparent to the eye that we've built into these int introductory screens as well. There are three main introductory screens. We're looking at the first one now that allows us to start a new project or to open a project. We'll take a look at the other two as well that allows us to associate the case with a particular patient and the treatment they've come into your office for, and the third screen, which is the data import screen. So first and foremost, we have the main part of the screen to start a new project. Similar to previous versions of Blue Sky Plan, you can simply left click on the treatment that the patient has come in for. And then if there are sub flows or sub options, you could go ahead and click on the relevant option to start your new case. If you click once again on the relevant hexagon, it will return to the previous screen, or you could click back to once again, return to the previous screen as well. Before we continue with starting a new project, let's take a look at the other elements on the screen. So we have the open project section, which currently appears on the bottom of the screen. It shows you the most recent projects that you have used and simply double click on any one of them to go ahead and launch that particular project. We also have a search bar, which you could search pretty much on anything. You could search on the treatment type. So we could search, for example, for aligners. We could go ahead and search on the patient's name. So if I search for salts, then it just shows the relevant cases based on the particular search. To clear the search box, just use the backspace button or click the red X to clear the search box and to remove the search that was performed. In addition, there's an open existing file option, which opens the dialog box to allow you to navigate to location on your computer with particular additional cases. And we have the horizontal buttons going across the top for quick navigation. Click the X or the cancel button to close or select the relevant case and then click the OK button. Now the section for open project can be expanded. If we go ahead and click on the expand button, we could see that the section expands. And first and foremost, it will show us additional many more recent projects you could just go ahead and double click on the relevant project to go ahead and open it. If you single left click on a particular project, it will show a preview of the project and additional information connected to that project. You could click open project to launch the relevant project. To pin a particular project to its spot, simply click on the pin and it will stay in its location even if there are other additional recent projects that would appear here. And this works whether you've expanded the open project section, or if it's collapsed as well. We also have introduced filters based on the treatment type. If you like to see only your aligner cases, click on the filter for orthodontics, and you will see only the orthodontics cases. Surgical guide for your implant cases. To clear the filter, click once again on the relevant hexagon, or click the filter option, and it will remove the filter or reactivate the most recently used filter. If you like to see only your surgical guide and orthodontics cases, you could select both of those options and it will show you those relevant cases. Let's go ahead and collapse the open project view. And before proceeding to start a new case, let's just take a look at some other items that we have on the screen. The top left, different menus to access preferences or help options. And if we move across to the right side of the screen, we could see the number of export credits that we have remaining in our account. The export credits are associated to the particular user account, of course. If you go ahead and click on the number of credits, then it opens the credit purchase screen that will allow you to purchase export packages or monthly subscriptions that we have available. Going to X out. Now we have the email address of the user that's currently signed into Blue Sky Plan. Of course, the number of export credits and the patients and other items are associated to the particular user. You could go ahead and switch users by clicking the switch user option or access your profile by go ahead and clicking on profile. To the right, we have an indicator if there is a new version of Blue Sky Plan or new parts catalogs available that will allow you to download and update the software accordingly. To the right of that, we have a message icon that will show recent messages from Blue Sky Bio. These messages might include new tutorial videos, new features and functionality, 
discounts or any promotions that we're running, simply go ahead and click on the recent message to see a particular video or to open a relevant web page. You could use the mark all as read option to clear the messages or the archive option to see older messages that you've previously read. To the right of this, we have nine dots providing access to other digital solutions that complement and supplement Blue Sky Plan, including access to Bio Big Box for file storage or transfer, Lab Pronto to order dental lab work, Blue Sky Monitoring for remote patient aligner monitoring, and to many other options. Bottom right of the screen, we've added the relevant software version, the relevant build. So if somebody asks you, hey, what build are you using or are you using the latest version of Blue Sky Plan? It shows you an indication on the bottom right of the screen exactly what you currently have installed and what you are running on your computer. Okay, so we've discussed the first of the three intro screens. We're going to now proceed. We're going to choose a relevant treatment. I'll click on orthodontics and choose aligners. And this takes us to the second screen. The first main section that we have on the screen allows you to organize your cases based on the particular patient and based on the treatment that the patient has come in for. So you could see a list of some of your patients that you've already created that appears on your screen. And if you're associating this case with a particular patient that already exists, simply left click once to select a patient. If you are adding a new patient to your list, simply click create new patient. And you could see the required fields indicated with the red asterisk is first name and last name. So you could go ahead and enter the patient's name. You could enter, enter a unique patient identifier into these relevant fields. I'll create a patient called Sky Blue. The additional fields are optional. You could, of course, enter the additional patient information to have visible and organized. They're most relevant and required if you're going to be creating an aligner case and activating Blue Sky Monitoring for remote patient monitoring. In that situation, the patient will be receiving notifications via email and messaging as to when to do the scans and to communicate with you, the dentist. So those fields are there as well. Once you've entered the relevant data, go ahead and click on Create. We could see that our new patient now appears in the list. If we want to modify the patient's details, go ahead and click on Edit, and we could go ahead and edit or remove the patient completely. Now we have the search box here as well that allows you to quickly search for a particular patient. This organizational structure will allow you to find your cases based on your patient and based on the treatment. As we saw on the previous screen, for example, you're able to filter based on the different treatment types. If over time, the same patient comes in for multiple treatments, then you'll be able to find the patient's case and data based on their name and then based on the different treatments that they have had. Now, if you're just loading the case to try out different features and functionality from the software, or you don't want to organize your cases by your patients, we have hard coded in a patient labeled as for testing generic patient. And if you like, you could just associate your case or even all your cases, even though it's not recommended, but you could just associate all your cases with this hardwired for testing generic patient. So that exists as an option as well. So if we go back to the patient that we created for our case, Sky Blue, and we go downwards, we could see that automatically the treatment name has been created based on the patient's name and the treatment for which the patient has come in. If you like, just leave that. You don't have to touch it. It's automatically created and that's fine. If you like to modify it, you have the edit option where you could go ahead and make any changes here. Moving to the right side of the screen, we have selecting the relevant draw. So for aligners, of course, we have both draws selected by default, but in a situation where relevant or for a different treatment, you could go ahead and select the relevant jaw. For proceeding, we have workflow settings. Now these are settings that are pertaining to the particular case and the particular flow for the particular case. For example, in our situation, we have a checkbox for add or extract tooth. The flow will change if you, the user, are going to be adding or extracting a tooth during this aligner treatment. So the different settings that we have here will affect the flow of the case, will affect the different automation that we've introduced into the particular flow. So take a look at the workflow settings. You could open and close them based on clicking on workflow settings. And of course, the settings will be, will be pertinent to the particular treatment, whether it's a surgical guide, we'll have surgical guide settings, splint, aligners, et cetera, et cetera. Once you have completed the second screen, Go ahead and click on data import or click the next button. 
The software now opens the relevant dialog box to automatically prompt us to select and load the relevant files. For our aligner case, we have our two jaws. We could multi-select by clicking the first one and holding down the shift key and clicking the last one. If we needed or wanted or if it was relevant to import the bytes as well, then we could select the first file, hold down the shift key, and then select the last file, and everything in between will be selected. If we wanted to select particular files, click the first file, hold down the control button, and then click the additional files as well. Let's go ahead and load all four of our files and click the OK button. What we see on the left side of the screen are previews of our files. The software automatically identifies the different file types and puts them into the relevant categories. We're able to preview them on the right side of the screen. We could toggle on and off the visibility of any particular file or files, and we could hide or show them accordingly. Now, what's very important here is to understand that the flow of the case will actually change and update based on what we import. If we import buckle bytes and add this to the case as we have done now, then the software will run in the flow, will run through the steps of articulating the upper and lower models based on these relevant bytes. So if the models are in the proper articulation and we don't need them for the case, we could click the red X and remove them. Now, even though in our situation, the models seem to have been scanned reverse, the orientation will be updated automatically by the software as it goes through the process. Now, the same idea exists as well if we import the patient CT scan. If we go ahead and select the CT scan, which we highly recommend because the software will automatically segment the teeth and will have the patient's true anatomy with complete tooth visibility, then once we select a CT scan and add it to the imported data, the software's flow will change accordingly to take into consideration the CT, the CT scan, the segmentation of the teeth, and to, and to align the segmented CT teeth and the CT bone with the models that we're importing. So I've selected the relevant CT. We could see a preview of it on the right-hand side of the screen. And again, we could toggle on and off the different options for visibility. But it's very important to remember that your actual flow will be updated according to the data that you've selected to import. If we wanted to remove a particular model or CT scan, click the red X. If you'd like to remove all of them, click remove all. If you've gotten to this point and you've realized that you've selected the wrong jaw, which is less relevant for your aligner cases, which are both jaws, but if it's an implant case, for example, then you could simply click the back button, click the relevant jaw, and then once again return, and your same data import selection will remain on screen. At this point, clicking the next button will load the data into the software and we'll proceed with the case. Okay, so now we've explained our three different introductory screens. It really takes a couple of seconds, and after you do it once, you'll see that. I'm going to load now. I'll start a new case for a crown for titanium base case. I'll click crown and bridge, crown on tie base. I could select the relevant patient from the list or create my new one. Let's go ahead and click our existing patient sky blue. Our treatment is already created. Draw type, and go ahead and click on next. Okay, here we have our files, and I could select all of them, but since they exist as PLY and STL, there's no need, control, and then I am left clicking on each relevant file, including our byte registration, and then click on OK. OK, now we're at the data import screen, and I'm just going to point out a couple of additional things that I haven't mentioned yet. Any square that's highlighted in red is the minimum required data that's required in order to proceed for the case. So in our situation, we've selected the relevant models. The minimum amount of data that's required for this case is a model that has the scan body visible. So what we see here is that the software has identified our maxilla and our mandible, and it's the mandible model that actually has the scan body visible. So in order to move it to the proper location, just simply grab and drag it with your left mouse button. Now, in addition, we have uncategorized data. Some of the bytes and additional models that we've imported have different labels on them, so the software didn't categorize the buckle byte automatically. If we want to move it over, grab and drag, and just drag it over. And the last point here is if you want to import a particular model, then go ahead and click on the plus for that particular model. So if we were importing a mandibular model scan, just go ahead and click on the plus. 
select the relevant model and import it. If you want to be able to import all of your models at the same time, as we did previously in the dialog box, then click import models. And this will allow you to multi-select whatever the relevant models are and import them. So to load this particular case, we would just go ahead and click on next and it will get our case started. If you have any questions regarding our new introductory screen or any questions connected to Blue Sky Plan at all, go ahead and email us at plan at blueskybio.com.